Today we are going to be talking about the state of budget phones. So just get this out of the way. This video is going to be B-roll list. I'm not gonna have any B-roll. I had B-roll planned, but for some reason my editing software was not liking it and did not make it up properly. So <clears throat> there's probably gonna be pictures. That's the reason I'm doing it. So the state of budget phones. It's kind of an interesting topic. Basically, so right now, beginning of Last week, Apple released their iPhone SE 2020. So that phone is definitely an interesting part and a very important phone, especially in this video, because it has the A13 Bionic chip in an iPhone 8 body. And that is a very compelling in a small form factor phone and base price of 400 bucks for 64 gigs is very interesting it's definitely very compelling for someone like my mom who is still rocking the iphone 6s and i keep trying to push her to upgrade but she won't pull the plug quite yet then again we're in quarantine no one has a job still so that's another thing but at 400 bucks with the power of the iphone 11 you basically can save 600 bucks if you like the small form factor phone. So it's definitely interesting. The next phone I'm talking about is gonna be the OnePlus 8, not the 8 Pro, because that is a flagship phone. The OnePlus 8 is budget phone, mid-range phone category. But as a recording, tomorrow, April 28th, the, I, the OnePlus 8 is going to be at T-Mobile on sale for literally 50% off you're gonna be able to get that phone for 350 bucks. And with that phone at 350 bucks, that's definitely another interesting phone because you are getting a Snapdragon 865, a 6.5 and a half inch display, hole punch, selfie cutout, and three cameras on the rear. Those are definitely flagship specs, but you're getting it for 350 bucks. There are definitely other phones out there for 350 bucks. You can, I mean, less, you can get the uh, Poco X2 that should be coming out soon. Um, there's a bunch of Redmi phones from Xiaomi that are in that price range. Those, these two phones, the iPhone SE 2020 and the OnePlus 8 are gonna be very important phones for this year. And at 350, 400 bucks for both of these phones, it's very compelling for those that want to upgrade but don't have the money to spend on a thousand dollar phones. That is definitely an important decision to make because when I bought the LG G7, the video you are seeing from that phone now, I was upgrading from a OnePlus 2, which I got for free from a friend of my mom's. And that phone was amazing. It was better than my LG K20 for about a hundred bucks. But that phone soon after the battery started getting shot and started it was horrible. So I was able to get the LG G7 at this point, now two years old. I was able to get it brand new for 400 bucks. Snapdragon 845, um, main shooter and wide angle, fingerprint sensor, notch, but, and a headphone jack. That was great. And this phone I have been using since the summer of 2019 and I love it. But I miss the OnePlus family, the OS, the software, the design. I mean, the OnePlus 2, the design of that is pretty cool. But now with the OnePlus 8, I really wanna get back into that. I, I love that phone. It's the OnePlus crew and everything, they, they got a soft spot in my heart. And I love the LG, but the OnePlus is definitely a, the right way to go in my opinion. It's definitely interesting because you literally have budget phones from both softwares, iOS and Android. But the Android at this point in time right now is cheaper because 350 bucks, granted it's for a monthly installment plan, you can't buy it outright, I don't think. But that's definitely important. And I'll leave links to this in the description of reviews for the OnePlus, the iPhone, and 
and the link for getting the OnePlus for really cheap like that. Um, but the OnePlus, it's, I keep going back to it because I like Android. I have, I've never really had the full experience and the money to experience both iOS and Android. I've had an iPhone 7 for a little bit, but that wasn't enough to experience it with my SIM card in it. But I've been on I've been on Android for three, four years since my first smartphone, and I love it. It's I, it's where I was originated from. It's great. I love it. But it's really interesting and crazy in a time like this where you're getting flagship performance and specs for under 500 bucks. You have to admit, that's pretty crazy. So, it's it's going to be an interesting year. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to see the 8T and hopefully the 8T McLaren edition from OnePlus. And sometime in the fall, we're going to see new iPhones and those are going to be flagships. So, if you want to wait, go ahead. But now is the chance to go on to that and get your performance that you want for under 500 bucks. That's, to me, it's crazy. You just, the way you can do this and get a flagship phone for 400 bucks is, it's mind blowing. And I'm pretty sure you guys agree with me. <sighs> I don't know what else to say. It's just the state of budget phones and mid-range phones, it's, they are slowly diminishing, but yet they're also growing. Your, the Redmi phones, the Xiaomi phones, those are definitely phones that are to keep on your radar if you want to upgrade, if you want to have flagship performance <laughs> but i don't know um it's it's your choice you can definitely upgrade but at this point in time right now with how austin evans put his two videos dear iphone users dear android users android has way more to provide you and at this point in time right now with oneplus putting their phones up for 350 bucks if you're an iPhone user, that's fine. Just go to the SE. But if you're an Android user, I would go for the OnePlus. That's how I feel, and that's where I would definitely go. Like if if I had 350 bucks and a car and nothing else to spend it on, <laughs> if my car was just sitting in the driveway, just waiting for my license, I would be online tomorrow getting that OnePlus. So that's just how I feel. Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are, and I'll see you again soon. Peace. Oof. <laughs>